to exhort the holy name of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask the devotion team. The devotion team, would you come on up and join me for some devotion? <laughs> Hallelujah. God is good and he's worthy to be praised. Yeah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Can nobody do me like Jesus? Can nobody do me like the Lord? Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. 
The Shia, we welcome you, we welcome you, we welcome you again. We truly we welcome our Facebook family, we truly love you. We appreciate your love and support, how you tune in on Sundays and you, you keep up with the services, so we truly love you. We're asking if you have any prayer petition that you would um, put it in the chat, we will most certainly be praying for you. Um, um, as well as if you have any testimonies that you would like us to share, we certainly can do that for you as well. And more importantly, we hope that one day you will come to us in person. Amen. 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 And so truly, we welcome our Facebook family and just give yourselves a hand for being here. Today. Um, it's not always easy, you know, we, we, we said, we were talking before church and how people can make the little excuses not to come to church and not realize that the time that we are is borrowed time. And so the time that we have been a lot, it comes from God anyways, and yet we still find excuses on why we don't want to come to church on give them a couple hours on a Sunday. So truly that's just, you know, um, a personal, personal um, commitment that you have to make in your heart to be totally committed for God. And I love my minister this morning. She said this morning, I done made up in my mind. She said, I don't care who don't go. It be my husband. I'm still going. I'm still going to go. She said, that's the attitude of it. She wasn't putting down her husband when she said that. She was simply saying, that's how sold out I am for Jesus. That's how committed I am to Jesus. Is that it has to be all about Jesus. Truly, that's what it has to be all about. And so we just um, thank God for this day for being able to come into this house. I'm going to open up the floor for testimony service. If there's somebody who has a testimony on this afternoon. Is there one? Oh, praise God. Praise the Lord. Give glory and honor to our pastor and our Father God. Um, I don't have anything in particular. I just want to thank him for being good and Amen. for accepting us back every time like we walk away. He just allows us to come back to him Amen. with open arms. So Amen. I just want to thank him for that. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. We thank God for that testimony. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, we, we do. We just get up and we just want to thank him. Let's sing that song, matter of fact. Lord, I just want to thank you. Oh, Lord, I just want to thank you. Oh, Lord, I just want to thank you. Oh, Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for being so good to me. So good to me. They would sing a song and get up and testify, or they would testify and get up and sing a song. So I truly uh, miss those days when I was a child. Hey, man, I don't really have a testimony, but I just want to share this little story. First, I give an honor to God who is ahead of my life, Amen. who I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. Yes. Oh, God bless you, Pastor. May God smile upon you. Minister Andresa, same for you. So... I was walking the other day and I ran into this young man and he was like, there you are. I haven't seen you. You normally walk your dogs in the morning. And I was like, yeah, well, my dog decided they want to go a different route. And he's like, well, I'm so glad to see you. He says, from the first time I seen you, there was just something about you. And he said, I just kept saying, my God, there's just something about her. And that just lets me know that people are watching. Yes. And it's the God in me is what he saw. Yeah. So I just give all praise, glory, and honor to God. Amen. Because I let my light so shine yes. that people know my work to do for my God. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. To God. And truly, that is a true statement. People are always watching. And, um, and, 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 and they can tell when there's something different about you. Trust yes. me, they can tell. That's why we don't have to open and say, I'm, you know, Reverend Dr. So-and-so, and, you know, you don't have to go through all that. Um, truly, when, when you are set apart, there's something about you that shows and people can see it. Is there another testimony on this afternoon? Is there another? If not, we're going to go into our announcements. Um, we have Reverend... I keep wanting to call him Reverend Doctor. I don't know what God's going to do with Josh Cotton, but I keep wanting to talk to Reverend Doctor. Every time I call him, I don't say Reverend Doctor. Right. But we have Reverend uh, Josh Cotton coming on the end of this month for our Super Sunday. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Anytime I can hear Josh preach, I love to hear him preach, and I love to hear him teach, and I just truly love the way God moves in his life as he's ministering. So I'm excited about that. I don't know about y'all. Um, and um, 
I just can't wait until we, we have our On Fire for God service. Um, Dr. Atkins reached out to us more. She wants me to come down and preach for her on our community day. I'm not sure of the date. I will get back to you all on that date. So hopefully all of you can come down and support me as your pastor. <laughs> I would appreciate that. Um, and then um, I think Minister Andrews may have some for women, for women, women, Warren for women. I'm not sure. All right, WW4W. So um, we will be getting ourselves together virtually. Um, I'm looking to do it towards the end of in July. Yeah. Towards the end of July. So um, I'll reach out to you all and see what Saturday might work best. For about an hour, I ain't gonna, you know, take it Saturday away. We'll be on Zoom, and then you can zoom on out after. Um, but you know, I just want to get it back going. I've had too many confirmations that it's time, so we're gonna get that back going. Um, also, um, reminder about our building fund. Uh, once a month, or however you want to do it, please try to contribute to our building fund because we are getting a building. Um, Amen. So we want to. Uh, we want to bless that fund for our building because yeah. God is doing things. If you haven't seen, if you haven't noticed, God is doing some things in Greater Love Christian yeah. Church. Yeah. And if you are a member of Greater Love Christian Church, uh -huh. you want to sow into Greater Love Christian yeah. Church. Amen. Yeah. I just also wanted to uh, thank you all, the ladies that came out yesterday. We did our Sisters Can You Feel Me group. Yeah. With Dr. Atkins from um, his Divine World Fellowship in New Haven. We had an awesome time in the Lord. God is good and he's just doing something new. Yes. Something new, something different, and it's what we need. Yes. So I thank you for your support there. If you could also be so kind, I am actually the 16th and the 23rd. Oh, so we're probably not going to do our women's meeting until August because I forgot. The 16th and the 23rd of this month, they're both Saturdays, I actually have to um, run the service down at Street Fire Ministries, which is down right on Main Street in Middletown, right at the soup kitchen. I'm filling in for Pastor Donald Watson as he goes on vacation. So if you all could support, I would greatly appreciate it. I believe um, if you can be there about 2.30, I'll have you in and I'll have you out. Um, is there anything else? I think that's it. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. And, um, we did start our building fund for the month of June. I had someone reach out to me, a good friend of mine, who said she has an offer for the building fund of the month of June. And I wanted to put that out there because I haven't received anything from the members um, for the month of June. So I know times are tough and times are hard. And that's why we didn't put an amount on it. It's whatever you can afford. You know, if you got to skip that McDonald's once a week or that Dairy Queen. A couple times a week, you know, to we want to we really want to start putting towards our own building. We heard the word from God that said God is desiring to give me a building, and so therefore we need to do our part, our part in this. Um, I did plant my seed, and I'm looking forward to see who's going to join me in July. Um, I did have a few people reach out and say, you know, this was just a rough month. But, I, you know, we'll, we'll I'll get something to you this month. And so I appreciate those who took the time to do that as well. But this is, as Minister Andre just said, this is our church. And this is what yeah. we're doing um, forth for our building. Because yeah. there's something about having your own where you have free reign that you, you really just can't do in anybody's house. So on um, that being said, um, looking forward to seeing you all so receive for the building fund in the month of July. You all know me personally. You all know me, you know, as pastor. Pastor's not one who's out for money. She's not looking for money. She's like, but it's not just sometimes got to make me take something because I just, I'm just not for, I'm, I'm not in this for that. I'm in this for Jesus because he has called me. He has commissioned me. So therefore I have to do his work. But there are some things that involve money that we do have to, to you know, um, talk about or, or do for Christ and we, in, in growing our own building because we also keep in the prophecy that this ministry is going to grow to the capacity where we're going to need a larger building. So yeah. we need to start, you know, sowing towards that. So when the time comes, we can be ready to receive what God has for us. Amen. 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 Um, so after the, the announcements are done, I'm going to ask if... Um, Minister Andres, if you want to lead us in our altar call prayer. But no, we'll do 
offering first, and then we'll do the altar call prayer. And, um, and then we'll go into the word of God. I know it's hot, and we all want to get out of here. And we're not, true sir, most certainly I will not rush the spirit of God. However, if God needs to speak through me, he will. But um, we certainly can get through these preliminaries before him. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to ask this conversation come on up and hold the basket. If you don't have any money, just come on up and touch the basket. God's blessings are not predicated off of what we can give him as far as money is concerned because he owns it all anyway. Amen. God is still in the blessing business. Amen. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold. Sickness and poverty will cease. For the devil is defeated, we are blessed. We're blessed in the city, we're blessed in the fields. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold, sickness and poverty will cease. For the devil is defeated, we are blessed. Greater capital G, dollar sign capital G R, the number eight T E R capital L O V E C C. So it's it's dollar sign greater love C C. Amen. 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 Most gracious and blessed Father God, we thank you for those, oh God, who had a heart to give on today. For those who wanted to give but could not, God, we ask that you would bless them anyhow and anyway, God. We ask for those who are struggling, oh God, watching by Facebook, oh God, God, that you would bless them, oh God, that you would, that you would begin to minister to the very core of their being, God, in the name of Jesus, that they may know, oh God, beyond the shadow of God, that you are with them because you told us in your word that you will never leave us nor be forsake us, God, that that is anything that we could ever go through. So, God, we just say thank you for being with us. Facebook family, we thank you for being with our church family, oh God. We thank you for being, oh God, just being who you are, God. We ask that you would use this for the upbuilding of your kingdom, that you may receive all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let us bring our cares to the altar. The Bible says, cast all your cares upon me because I care for you. Truly, you know, we, we sometimes get hung up and tossed to and fro in the life. You know, going through this and going through that, and sometimes we don't know why we have to go through and why me, God, and poor me, and we start having this pity party. But God says, if you truly give that to me, I will keep you in perfect peace because there's something about giving your troubles to Jesus and setting your mind on Him that will give you that perfect peace. So as you begin to assemble yourselves at all, I'm going to have Ms. Andres to lead us in prayer. Amen. Amen. As we come to the altar to talk to our dad. The one that can do everything but fail. The one that knows all about us. We don't even want to tell him about our mess. He know about it anyway. So we want to come and just talk to our daddy. and We want to surrender anything that you need to surrender on today. Now is the time. We can't say that we trust in the Lord and we're leaning on him, but we keep holding on to stuff. But we can't come to the altar and say we release it, but then we pick it back up. It's time to release it and leave it there. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we come on today, Lord. We just come to say thank you. We thank you for this day that we have never seen, and you allowed us to rise on this morning with all the activities of our lungs on today. We were able to open our mouth and create a sound on today. We're able to hear some sound with our eardrums on today, Father God. And we was able to put one foot in front of the other on today, Father God. And we was able to lift our hand and give a little wave to your glory on today, Lord God. So we come to say thank you. We come to just reverence you on today, Lord God, to magnify your holy and your righteous name because your name is above all names. Just calling upon your name can move mountains, God. So we call upon you today, Lord God, asking you to do what you do best. 
Hallelujah. We ask you to move those mountains on today, Father God. We ask you to release those strongholds on today, Father God. Loosen those shackles and those chains on today, Father God, because we are free on today, Lord God. We come walking in the victory that you have given us, Lord God, and we thank you for setting us free from ourselves, Father God, setting us free from people, Father God, setting us free from the world, Father God. We thank you that we have freedom on today, freedom to praise you, freedom to lift up your name, to worship you, Father God, freedom to give you a, our best on today, Lord God. Despite our past, Father God, we are, we're, we're ready to give you all that we got on today, Lord God. We're not allowing our past to hold us back and giving you praise. We're not allowing our past to hold us back to give you worship and glory, Lord God. For this is a day that you have made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. For we know that you have not given us the spirit of fear, Father God. So we thank you that we are no longer fearful on today, Father God, but we are strong, and because of you, we can go through anything. And we thank you, God, as the storms may come, Lord God, they're going to come, but we can get through them because you're our daddy, and you're right there with us every step of the way, Lord God. And we might think it's funny, God, but thank you for the storms on today, Father God, because they come to mold us, they come to grow us and make us stronger, God. So we thank you for the storms on today. We thank you for creating us and how you see fit. Not about our plan, God, not about our will, God, but your plan, your will for our life, Lord God. Allow us to be receptive to you on today. Allow us to be willing and open vessels on today, Father God. And that starts with us releasing some things, Lord. So we come to the altar on today to release anything that does not line up with your will, Father God. Those thoughts, those words, those actions, that heart and heart, Father God. We come releasing it now. Disappointment, Father God. Frustration, confusion, Father God. We come to release it at the altar on today. Casting out judgment, we're done casting judgment, Father God. Living in the world of gossip, we're done gossiping, Father God. We're coming to release those things to you because they're not of your will, Lord God. Help us, Father God, to turn away from those things that are not pleasing to you. Help us, Lord God, to learn how to pray in the midst of the storms, Father God. Help us learn how to call upon your name in the midst of the struggles, Lord God. Help us, Father God, to surrender it all on to you because you are our burden bearer. Hallelujah. You are a mind regulator, Father God. Help us. Give us a new mind on today. A new way of thinking, God. Help us. Help us, God, to see others like you see them. Thank you, Jesus. Not how we see them, not how they made us feel, not what they've done to us, not what they said about us, God, but how you see them, God. Allow us to see them in your eyes so we can love on them. We can have compassion and patience and forgiveness on today like you have for us unconditionally, God. Help us to walk in your will on today. And as we come to release all those things at your feet today, we're going to leave them there on today. We're not going to pick them back up and be waiting down any longer, Father God. Today is the day. It's releasing day on today, Father God. We're releasing them at your feet, and we're going to rise up in the authority and the power you have given us to go forth because we are free and free indeed. So we thank you for freedom on today. We thank you for healing on today. We thank you for deliverance on today. We thank you for a mind steadfast on you on today, Lord God. As we continue to always give you the glory, to give you the honor, and to give you the praise. In Jesus' name I do pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun, he's worthy to be praised. Yes. Whether I got a penny or I got a hundred dollars in the bank, he's worthy yes. to be praised. Whether my back is hurt or my feet is swollen, he's worthy Hallelujah. to be praised. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's God. worthy. He's worthy. Right. He's yeah. worthy. Hallelujah. I'm going to attempt to sing a little bit of a song and then we'll go into the word of God. Amen. Amen. Oh, to Jesus, I 
says yes. I love
when when we were when I was a child, um, kids would you know they had the little scenes when they wanted to fight. You know, if you put the shirt, the stick on my shoulder, you want to fight, you knock it off, or you know, you draw a line, you cross that line, you fight. But one of the things that that they would say that I found as I got older um, was not true. They would say sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. But in essence, as we're reading this scripture on today, um, most certainly words do have power and they can be hurting, they can be uh, detrimental to the, to the fact of, you know, there's kids who actually commit suicide by being bullied because of words. And, and so words can have a damaging, everlasting effect. So, so that found out as I got older that that scene wasn't true, even though I chimed in with that scene when I was younger, when somebody would tease me or somebody would call me out my name, I would chime into that sticks and stone and break my bones, but words would never help me. But as I got older, sister daughter, and as I began my relationship with Christ, I found out that there's power in words and there's power in the tongue. And so therefore, that was not a true statement. And so I, I wish I could wipe that out of the children's uh, minds and, 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 and their talk and their oh, language God. today that you know, words don't hurt because the truth of the matter is words can hurt. And so Paul, who was actually the writer of this text, is, is talking to the church of Ephesus and he's actually in prison when he writes this letter and he's letting them know, uh, you know, that there should be no foul language that should come from your mouth. And, 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 and only what is good for building up someone that is in need and, and Thank <laughs> you. 
wound or walk around the wound still open. I'm not, I'm not allowing God to close the wound. Because God said, I'll throw all that stuff away until I will bring it back no more to remember it. But therefore, we hold on to stuff. And we want to remember everything that everybody ever did to us. But we don't never want to look at the part that we played in it. Wow. Why? Because we walk around here bleeding on people. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. church of Ephesus. And now he's in prison. And, and, and I can just imagine. He, he was in prison but yet he was still thinking of his brothers and sisters in Christ. He was still wishing that they could get it together. He was still wishing that they would, they would, they would accept each other. They would love each other. They would build each other up. He says, no foul language should come from your mouth. But only what is good for building up somebody in need. Why is it that every time something happens, every time we go through something, the first thing we want to do is cuss somebody out in the time The first thing we want to do is just say those words that shouldn't even be in our vocabulary. Ah. The first thing we want to do, see, we don't even think about the goodness of God. We don't think about the extended grace and mercy of God in all the ways he's extended grace towards us, in all the ways he's extended mercy towards us. Jesus Christ, irrigate the moon. And I 
ashes to scrape out. They, they will scrape out the, the ugly part, the, the, the germy part, the, the, the infected part. Mm. Begin to scrape out the infection mm. in the womb, especially when it's in your heart. Mm. Begin to scrape it out. Replace it with the things of God. Yes. And then take the living water of Jesus Christ and irrigate it.
You ain't got to go outside of yourself to be happy over here. You ain't got to go outside of yourself to look for happiness over there. You ain't got to go outside of yourself to look for happiness over there. Because you already know who has you. Yeah. Thanks, God. Yeah. That's right. And when you know who has you, then there's something about knowing mm. for a surety. Yes, uh -huh. yes. That God has me. Yes. Knowing for sure that the Lord is my Savior. Because yeah. God said too many people are walking around here calling me their Savior. And yet they don't live nothing. Mm -hmm. No kind of way that I have asked them to live. Wow. Mm -hmm. They are doing whatever they want to do. And then they get around people and they want to talk about God. You know, I, I've been serving Jesus a long time. <laughs> He's my second girl, you know. I don't understand why God let that thing happen to me when I was seven years old. My daddy raped me, and, and girl, you know, and then, you know, they, they came and, and they took the kids away from me, and, and girl, you know, and then I, I got with that man, and he cheated on me, and, 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 and you know, and he used to beat me up, and, and they got all these poor me stories. Uh -huh. They ain't got one story glorifying God. Yeah. 
Here we are walking around with each other, the same body, because we're all one body in Christ. We're the same body, and we're bleeding on each other. Because I can't stand Sister Dawn, and I hate Minister Andres. She went out there, she lied on me, and she said this shit. Well, don't you know she's up in the pulpit? She ain't got no business up in the pulpit. God said, when did you become Hey! He who is out without sin, let us cast the first stone. Right. Why are you busy worrying about what Minister Andre is doing in the pulpit? Mm. Why are you busy worrying about what Pastor Ross is doing in the pulpit? I'm not. Why are you busy worrying about the family's daughter doing in the pulpit? Worry about what you ain't got right in your own life. Well. Ooh. And stop bleeding on people. Yeah. Mm. Nah, nah, nah. Because the Bible says, why are you wiping the speck? Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Uh -huh. Say that. Yes. Stop bleeding on people. Ooh. Ooh, That's good. But as long as you desire to do you, <laughs> and as long as you desire to have it your way like Burger King, <laughs> you're going to continue to cuss and fuss uh -huh. and be bitter. And angry and have wrath mm. and slander and shout and argue and yell. You're going to continue down the old path. Mm. Why? Because you're not spending time in the presence of Jesus for real. Mm. There's people who go to church every Sunday. They sing on the praise and worship team. They get up here and they pray. They lay hands on the folks. They pray for people. They speak in tongues. They run around the church shop, but yet they believe in everywhere they go. Why? Because they're truly not in the presence of God. There is a joy and there is a liberty when you're in the presence of God. It's not hard to forgive Minister Andre. I don't care what they did when you're in the presence of God for real. When you recognize your wickedness, your own wickedness, your own wretchedness for real. It's easy to forgive. I don't care what they do. Spirit last night may need to walk up in here one day under the right spirit. 
And she can't get up here and say, well, I ain't coming to that church. That's the man that cussed me out. That's the man that rolled up against me. That's the man that told me off. Because you don't give outside entities that have no place in God room to get in. The same way the scripture says he sealed us up. Walk around. 
around, Deacon, bleeding on each other. Jesus. Walk around, infecting people with our nasty blood. Yeah. Instead of picking up the blood that has the power to irrigate us mm. and to clean the sound and to renew us and to restore us yeah. and to revive us yeah. and to give us that ocean that we need to keep running this race because this race is not given to the swift nor to the strong. Yep. Time and change is going to happen to each and every single one of us.
He watching me because he watching what I how I'm reacting at. And he see that I'm still loving. I'm still kind. I act like I don't even know nothing. I just keep going on. Loving, forgiving, being kind. Guess what? I'm now bled the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, 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 yes. So when the anniversary comes up in his life, he can think back and say, wait a minute. Nope. I remember when they was talking to pastor. And I remember when they had the mouth on her. And they was lying. They had all kinds of things against her. And I remember she was still kind. And she was still loving. And she was still forgiving. And you know what? I think I'm going to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. So we begin to bleed. Jesus, we need you, God. 
We thank you. We magnify you. We praise you and we lift you up. Continue to have your way, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. We're going to go into our communion. Amen. Amen. We're going to ask. God bless you.